Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Welcome to a new session of your social science children. Today we are going to see a very interesting lesson in history. The lesson about the first cities. Right? So we are going to see about a very beautiful civilization, a very ancient civilization in the history which is called as Harappan civilization. So first we will get introduced about what it is. So we already have studied about the development of agriculture and then the peop how it encouraged people to settle down in the river banks. All right? So we have already seen how the agriculture was developed in the Neolithic age and how next stage that is the copper age has emerged. Right? And the river valleys became the early farmers choice. So the places near the rivers were the choice of the farmers. As we have seen in our geography lesson also that the places very near to the river are very fertile in nature. right? So they have the alluvium soil which is very much suitable for agriculture. So farmers choice was to settle down in the places very much near to the rivers and because of the fertile soil and abundant supply of water. So as more water and the so uh, was available as well as the soil was very good enough to carry out the agriculture, the place was very much suitable for the people and people preferred to settle down in that places. So some of these settlements grew in cities 5000 years ago. So these settlements they started developing to become a city. So which means a place with buildings, all the uh, facilities they started to settle down like that. So this started 5000 years ago. So these cities became the centers of earliest civilization. So the human beings, the evolvement or the changes, the evolution we have been seeing stage by stage from the old stone age to the new stone age and then now we are going to see how they have started building and how the agriculture developed to the next level and how their culture differed over the previous periods. Right? Then now we are going to see the cities that came up along the bank of the river Indus. So uh, the people started settling down near the rivers we have seen. So in this lesson we are just mainly going to see about the civilization or the people who started settling down near the bank of the river Indus. So here you can see the various civilizations which had been started just near the river. So here you can see near the Nile river. Yeah, the in Egypt, the first the the civilization is Nile Valley civilization, and then uh, Mesopotamia, and then this Harappan civilization, which is on the banks of River Indus. So this is what we are going to see in this lesson. And here Huang Ho Valley in China. So all these places had marked a very important part in history for the earliest civilization. So in this lesson, we are going to see about the Harappan civilization. Right? So first, what is Harappan civilization? When did it start? What does it mean? What had happened in this civilization? We are going to see that first. So this started 5000 years ago and the town started to develop on the banks of the river Indus. Okay? So it is in the northwestern part of Indian subcontinent. So in this picture itself you can see, in this map itself you can see this is the north part and this is the west part. right? So in the northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent this civilization begin. Right? So this started 5000 years ago and here. This is called as Indus Valley Civilization. Right? So by this 2600 BC, this started 5000 years ago and during this 2600 BC, during that years, what happened? This civilization what at its, was at its peak, which means many people were in this civilization, many were following this culture. Right? And then what happened? During this period, it extended from Baluchistan in Pakistan in the west 
and up to the Yamuna river in the east. So, this civilization spreaded up to many places during this period that is why it is called as Harappan civilization was at its peak in this period and then Towards the south again it extended up to the Gulf of Cambay after that. So, this civilization lasted for almost 1000 years. So, this civilization flourished. It was at its peak for 1000 years and then it went to a sudden decline by 1700 BCE. So, it started declining slowly and by 1700 BCE it ceased to exist which means it found difficult to exist. So, this civilization was no more by the end of 1700 CE. So, as years passed by people completely forgot about these Harappan cities. So, what is Harappan city? The place where this Harappan civilization was started and people lived we call those places as Harappan cities. And after this 4000 years, right? So, after 4000 years of Harappan civilization, we accidentally have rediscovered these places. So, archaeologists have all of a sudden have rediscovered these places. So, it was rediscovered by engineers building a railway line in Punjab area of present day Pakistan when they found a ready supply of beautifully made bricks in a large mound nearby. So, how this place was found? When a railway line was built across Punjab, okay. So, these engineers when they were making railway lines, they all of a sudden found ready made bricks, okay. So, how come a brick can be under a soil? So, that is how this place was found. So, after that many researches, many excavations took place and that is how this Harappan civilization had been found. So, the high quality of these bricks prompted archaeologists to excavate this site. So, the bricks were of very high quality. So, that is a specialization or a very special thing about this Harappan civilization. Okay, so the bricks were very strong and they were of very high quality. We will be reading about that in the lesson. So, these bricks high quality made the archaeologist to carry out excavations in this site. So, here you can see the Harappan bricks. Okay. So, the period of these bricks are uh, said to be from 2500 to 1800 BCE, which is a very high quality. Right. So, now we will see more about this Harappan civilization. So, they found the remains of once flourishing city and named it as Mohenjo-daro which means the mound of the dead. Okay? So, these uh, after all these excavations they found many remains and finally they named that place. Okay? The place where they found all these remains as Mohenjo-daro. Fine? So, Soon another city was found which was very identical. So, which was very similar to Mohenjadaro, another city was found and that was named as Harappa. So, Harappa and Mohenjadaro are the two important cities of this Harappan civilization. So, since then archaeologists have discovered more than thousands of settlements belonging to Harappan civilization. So, apart from this Harappa and Mohenjadaro, many places have been discovered from this Harappan civilization. So, some of them like Harappa, Mohenjadaro and Mehelgar are located in Pakistan today. So, many of these locations are today in Pakistan which is the northwestern part of India. And other places like Dholavira, Lothal, Kalibangan, Roper and Banwali are all located in India. So, there are places of the same Harappan civilization which is located in India also. Right? So, here you can see the various places of Harappan civilization. Right? Dholavira, Mohenjadaro, Harappa, Kalibangan, Lothal. Yeah? So, all these places are the places where Harappan civilization existed, right? So, of all the sites of Harappan civilization that has been excavated in India till now, 
Raki Ghari, which is located in Haryana, is the largest settlement. So, of all the places of the Harappan civilization, many places we have seen from Harappan civilization, of all these places, this Raki Ghari, which is located in Haryana of India, right? So, that is being the largest settlement. So, now we are going to see about the main features of Harappan civilization. We will just have an introduction about what are the main features of Harappan civilization. So, the town planning, the way they have planned their town, right, which is to be an upper town and a lower town. And then we, have see, we are going to see about a very beautiful drainage system which was introduced in this Harappan civilization. And then about the society, their food habits, their clothes and ornaments. And then about the economic life of the people, that is their various occupations they took up. And then the transport and trade. So how was the trade habits there? And then how was the transport facilities available? And then about the seals of Harappan civilization. And then the art and culture script that is the Harappan script they started writing by this period. So that and then about the religion followed during the Harappan civilization. So more about that in your next session. Thank you children. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha.